joys of ownership. Okay, so the green board is in, even though it's not really green, but that's what this is right here. And that's, um, it's, it's by Hardy. I think it's, I'll look at, I'll put a link in the bottom. Uh, we got through Lowe's. It was like, uh, I think it was three feet by four feet for $22, something like that. So we have extra for later. And so next is, uh, put the tiles back on. I'm cleaning off all the grout right now. So we're getting from the, like, so this is one of them that's gonna go around the pipe. That's what it looks like on the back. And then the, that's what it looks like after I take off all the, uh, the old, uh, Grout, grout's what goes in here. Mastic, I guess. Um, mortar. So I got just this this one left. It's two pieces. So that's what they're, we numbered them all so we know where they go. So that's what I'm working on right now. Okay, so my husband's done all this. I'm about to put the tile on, which is really the easy part. So he did all this, he took out the damage. It wasn't really bad, but it had, this is mostly when we took out, there was a little bit from, you know, from previously, maybe a little bit of water got in here from the old knobs, but it's all dry and it's, it's solid. So what we're trying this time is, it's 100% waterproof cement board and it's Hardy Backer. This was from Lowe's for a three foot by five feet, 36 inch by 60, was $22.98. And this stuff's pretty cool because it doesn't break. It's like you really would have to, in fact, he had to use a saw to cut it. You can't just score it and break it off like you can regular, like drywall or green board. So, like, this is what we took out. It breaks. This, you can't break. I tried breaking it last night, because these were outside where he had cut it. You can't break it. So, we're just going to try it and see how, how well it holds up. Maybe someday we'll end up replacing the tile in this bathroom, but... For right now, we're just we're just gonna try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, the adhesive. We're just using this. This is also from Lowe's. I'll put a link below. But you can you know obviously when you're doing this, you can use any adhesive that you prefer. What's at your local hardware store? But we're gonna use that, and then after I do that, I'll let it dry 24 hours, and then put the grout on, and then we can put our, um, our new knobs on. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get started with that.
go ahead and continue continue with these and I'll come back as soon as I finish this up and then we'll let it we're gonna have to let it sit for I think it was 24 hours before we put the grout in okay so I got these in and I'm just cleaning up in between to get any of the adhesive out so I can put the grout in tomorrow. I think it looks pretty good. Looks like it did before we had to get in here, which all started just by changing these knobs. That's all we were doing. And then the spout, uh, this broke, so we had to, my husband had to go in there and take off the old, it was like an elbow, cut it off and solder on a new one for this. So, that's where we are right now, so I'll let this dry. sure that these were lining, you know, lining up and also laying pretty flat. Checking the ones above. There's always a little, just like a, just a little bit of an air space between, even on the ones that we didn't take out, so that's good. So I'll go ahead and let this dry, and then the next thing is the grout, and then we'll put the knobs back in. Okay, so we're mixing up the grout. get it to a uniform consistency. Right now it's kind of like pancake batter. I need to be a little bit thicker. And I just started stirring it. I'm just using the instructions on here. On the top. It's just white. It's a mape. M-A-P-E-I. It's just white. First, it's just white tile with white grout. I'm trying to get this a little bit thicker. But I'm going to be doing um, the tiles I put back in, but I'm going to go around the base of the the base of the tile where it meets the tub. I already took out the, uh, what do you call it, the silicone. I already took that out and then scraped the grout that's been in there. And I'm just going to try to fill in any areas that were loose or
Okay, so I pretty much got all the areas I needed covered, any little crevices that we had. I just wanted to fill those in before I caulk around the tub. But the main area was right in there. So I have to let it sit about 15 minutes and then I'll wipe it down with a warm sponge. Okay, so be right back. just with that sponge I was using earlier and just kept wiping off any excess. So this is where we replaced the tiles. We took the same tiles, the same tiles we took out we put back. So it's all filled in. And then I took out all the the grout around the edge. I took on all the grout around the edge and then just let some of the grout get into those crevices and then I'll re -caulk. Okay, so right now it's uh, it's gonna, gonna dry. I can't remember, I think it's uh, 72 hours? I'll double check. Okay, so yes, uh, three days to let the grout dry like on a wall like this and if you're doing a shower floor, that's seven days. Okay, so my main goal here was just to get this area all done with grout to look just like the rest of it. I think it's pretty darn close. And uh, let's see. I think the last step, well, aside from putting the new knobs on and the spout, uh, just to put some caulking all the way 
you know, around this edge, all the way to the back. Let's see. Follow that to all the way around here and here. Remember, it's not a new install. This is just basically it all started when I wanted to get new knobs and go from the. Um, here, I'll show you what it was. So we're going from these 80 style uh, Fister Windsor, and then we're going to be putting on the um, the chrome lever the lever style so I'll show that as soon as it's done but that's what started this and the old spout when we went to take it off the pipe it just broke right off it wouldn't even twist off so my husband went in and he soldered a new elbow in there and that's what we had at the beginning of the video so that's how all this started <laughs> We have another, we have two other bathrooms, but the other one um, that we're going to do next is just the knobs. And they're the same style, these um, Windsor, Fister, Windsor. So we're going to be switching those over to the lever style, you know, lever when you go like this. Except it's going to have porcelain, um, porcelain and chrome. Same style, just porcelain and chrome. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to let it dry, the whole thing dry for three days before I do the, the caulking, just to make sure, make sure it's completely dry. So everything is done. This is uh, the area that we had to take out the tile all around here and replace some of the backer board or green green board. Some people call it that, and then replace the tile. And these are the new uh, knobs or fixtures, I guess. This is what I originally tried to change, and then the original spout, there's a pipe inside. When the house was originally built, it apparently wasn't installed securely enough, so there was like a little tiny bit of seepage of water throughout the years, and it kind of rusted a little bit. So when we tried to turn this, because that just screws on, pipe broke. So that's what we saw earlier in the video, but this is just a little bit of a facelift for our late 80s uh, bathtub and shower. So what I did is I redid all the caulking around here. That was with Red Devil for kitchens and bathrooms. Then I just changed that. Well, not changed. Gave it a facelift. And that's water. Because I was testing the water to make sure the plug worked. I'll go ahead and do that again. Okay, so this is the cover that I just installed. This has dried. This is the clear caulking, the flex seal. So this is this now works as a plug. It seals the water in should we use this as a bathtub. We just use it as a shower. We really don't use it um, as a bathtub. You know, California, gotta save water. Okay, so we just push that down. Okay, and then we'll just run a little bit. So that'll hold, hold now. The old one was the original, and I forgot, it's the original 
There's a name. It's, uh, gosh, I can't remember. I threw it all away because it was all, I put it in the recycling. I hope it can be recycled because it's just metal. So anyway, this works. This is nicely sealed. Drains. And we'll probably just leave this out until we actually need to use it. But for now, I'm just going to leave that out. So these are the the new, uh, I think these were Fister. Because the whole system, even the, you know, in the wall, inside, back there, it was all Fister when the house was built. So, uh, and then I added another, a brand new water pick. And this is California compliant. I think the maximum is 1.8 gallons per minute. And then these, these are the command, a couple of the command hooks. I got these off of Amazon, but you can get them, you know, hardware stores. And because this hose, this is a little bit longer. This is a, an eight-footer metal hose. The original, I don't know what they usually are, five feet maybe? It wasn't ever quite long enough to get, like when I'm cleaning the shower back behind me, there's a step up and I can't usually reach it very well to rinse it off, so I decided to get a longer one. But this will hang down quite a bit like that, which is a little annoying. So what we did is we hung these. Now these are not going to get wet. They're on this back side. So I went ahead and hung them. I just did this a few days ago. I want to make sure that they, they do work. But I wanted something to hold this and keep it from moving, like when you're just, you know, rinsing off your hair or whatever. I want to be able to keep this long hose from dropping. So what we did was, I knew it needed to be a little bit more rounded, so my husband just opened it up a little bit with a, I think he used pliers. See, this has more of a V shape, and now it's a round shape. So he just rounded it out a little bit, so now we can just hang this up here and it won't go anywhere. And it kind of fits nice in there in the little ridge. So now it doesn't drop. And then this I put here for the shower curtain. We have a shower curtain, you know, like a, a vinyl shower curtain and then there's a cloth one in front of it. I hate shower doors. Uh, so this I just hook over here after we use it just so it'll let things air air dry a lot better and it's it's worked for quite some time. But this is just a little bit of a makeover. Kind of accidental makeover I guess you could say because of all this issue. But it worked out okay because I needed to redo you know all the caulking anyway. You have to do that every I don't know. Well you want to do it before, you know, like it'll start, you know how sometimes you'll see a little bit of like uh, mold. It always happens. There's no way around it, I think. I mean, I, I spray this with like a combination of bleach and water. We wipe things down. It, it still happens, so I just went ahead and replaced it all. But So now we're looking a little bit better, a little bit of a facelift. And, oh, the other thing, my next project. I, uh, I'm gonna be doing, I'll probably just do a quick video. This little goodie right here is from when the house was originally built. It's a tract house, so the construction workers managed to somehow scrape, scrape this here. They sent someone out to fix it, like before we moved in or right as we were moving in and they patched it and it looked okay for a while and then it started turning yellow. So like right underneath this, it's black because this is a metal tub. They filled it in, it looked fairly good for a while and then as you can see, it's done that. 
So what I'm going to be doing is I bought some Soto touch up paint and that's going to be another video. So this is the sampler you can order through Soto and it's getsoto.com and they'll send this to you and then you can order the touch-up either through them directly I got this off of Amazon and so what I did is uh, you, these come off they're just stuck on and you can take them off and place them on the appliance or bathtub. And we did that. Just the top five colors, the other ones we knew weren't going to match. So we laid them all out. I'll put a picture on the screen. We ended up with white mannequin. We figured it was going to be between white mannequin and Turkish white. And it turns out the white mannequin was the closest. Whether I used, like I took a picture, a few pictures, with the samples up there, and the white mannequin almost disappeared, whether I used a flash or not. So it, it came out looking pretty close. I don't see how it's going to be any closer. So that's what I'm going to be working on next. It's not going to be perfect, I know, but it's got to look better than that. And we're not going to replace the entire bathtub just for that little spot. It doesn't leak. It, it's fine, and, and we're the only ones that see it. But hopefully I can get it to look pretty close with this touch-up. Okay, so that is it for this minor repair. on to the next project. Might not be the paint, but I've got a couple other things going, but we'll see. I'll post it, post it right after I finish. Okay, so that's it for now.